Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. Now formula of amount that we use is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raise to power N. Where A is the amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum and N is the number of years. Now always remember there are four quantities in this formula that is A, P, R and N. And always the value of three quantities will be given in any particular question and we need to find the value of fourth quantity. So likewise, we will take up two questions in which both the principal and amount along with the rate of interest per annum is given to us and we need to find the number of years. That is, we need to find the time period. So let's start with the first question. In how many years will rupees 8000 amount to rupees 9261 at 5% per annum compounded annually? Now this is our question in which they are asking us to find how, in how many years will rupees 8000 that is our principal amount to rupees 9261 that is our amount at 5% per annum that is our rate of interest and it is compounded annually. Now, three quantities are already given to us, that is the principal, amount and rate of interest and we have to find the time period. Now, we know that the formula of amount is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. There are four quantities in this, three quantities are already given and we have to find the fourth quantity that is N. That means we have to find the time period. Now, let's start with the solution. First of all, let us write what is given to us. So, P is the principal that is rupees 8000. A is the amount that is rupees 9261. Rate of interest R is 5% per annum and T is the time period which we have to find out. We shall use the formula of amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. Now, we shall put the values. So, amount is equal to 9261 is equal to principal that is 8000 in bracket 1 plus 5 upon 100 whole raised to power n. R percent is 5 percent. So, we have written 5 upon 100 whole raised to power n. N we have to find. Now, we shall cross multiply. So, we shall write 9261 upon 8000 is equal to over here we can take LCM. So, 105 upon 100 whole raised to power n. Now further, we can simplify 105 and 100, we can divide by 5. So further, we can write 9261 upon 8000 is equal to 21 by 20 whole raised to power n. Now we have to make the base same. So what we can do is, we can write 9261 as 21 cube and 8000 as 20 cube. So, we can write accordingly as 21 upon 20 whole cube is equal to 21 upon 20 whole raised to power n. Now, we can say as bases are same, powers should be equal. So, n is equal to 3. So, this is our answer that is time period is equal to 3 years in which the principal that is 8000 will become 9261 at 5% rate of interest. Now let's take up second question. In what time will a sum of rupees 3750 at 20% per annum compounded annually amount to rupees 6480? Now this question is also same as the previous question. Here also they are asking us in what time will the sum of rupees 3750 sum means principal. So basically 3750 is our principal at 20% per annum that is our rate of interest and will amount to rupees 6480 that is our amount. So again three quantities are given to us that is principal amount and rate of interest and we have to find the fourth quantity that is the time period and we shall apply the formula of amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. So accordingly, we will start solving. Given to us is principal rupees 3750 
amount is equal to rupees 6480 rate of interest is 20% per annum time period we have to find and we shall apply the formula of amount a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n now let us put the values in the formula so amount that is 6480 is equal to principal that is 3750 in bracket 1 plus r r is 20% so we shall write 20 upon 100 whole raised to power n now we shall cross multiply so we shall write 6480 upon 3750 is equal to further we can take lcm so 100 plus 20 is 120 upon 100 whole raised to power n now we shall cancel 0 0 on both the side left hand side as well as right hand side and we shall get 648 upon 375 is equal to 12 by 10 Whole raised to power n. Now left hand side we can simplify by dividing by three, and right hand side we can simplify by dividing by two. Both the numerators as well as denominator. So further we shall write two hundred and sixteen upon one twenty five is equal to six by five whole raised to power n. Now we have to make the base same. So two hundred and sixteen can be written six cube, and one twenty five can be written five cube. So we can write six by five whole cube is equal to six by five whole raised to power n. Further, we can say as the bases are same, powers should be equal. So n is equal to three. That is, time period is three years when the sum of rupees three thousand seven hundred fifty will become rupees six thousand four hundred eighty at twenty percent rate of interest. So this is our answer. Hope you enjoyed learning these questions. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.